Some books we read to escape the present, some to learn more about it. Novelist Kazuo Ishiguro is haunted by a coming-of-age story that makes the Mexican drug trade all too real. You might draw parallels with other books like you know, To Kill a Mockingbird or whatever. You know, these situations where the innocence of the child's eye looks at outrageous things that are allowed to go on. I'm Anne Strainchamps, and this is Bookmarks. Hi, I'm, I'm Kazuo Shiguro. I'm a British novelist born in Japan, and my latest novel is called The Buried Giant. I'm the author of books like The Remains of the Day and Never Let Me Go. I'm here to talk about a book I feel, although it's had some acclaim, it needs to have a lot more acclaim. And I've chosen a book by Jennifer Clement, and it's called Prayers for the Stolen. This is a story set today in Mexico, near the American border. And it's about young kids, you know, teenagers, teenage girls mainly, growing up in that, that stretch along the border that's completely run by the drug cartels. So for them, it's just normal that you know, these drug cartels create this kind of horrific environment. That they're used to the idea that if they see SUVs driving towards their village across the desert, they have to all run and hide in these ready-made burrows because those drug gangs readily come into the villages, kidnap the prettier girls, even if they're like 9, 10, 11, and take them away to use as, as prostitutes. Horrendous things happen, but they just play in these little villages. It's, to them, this is kind of normal. It's normal that their older brothers work for, for drug gangs. Sometimes it's considered to be kind of uh, glamorous. It's a terrifying picture, but it's, I think it's, a, it's an important book. I think it's brilliantly written. It's very moving. I took away from it that I guess a more universal thing I'm not likely to go and live in that part of the world. This is, once again, the story of innocent people, innocent young children. We're almost genetically kind of geared to see the world in an optimistic way. The world around them is so horrific, but they kind of normalize it. You know, the sadness, the tragedy of that kind of young children's view of the world, their natural tendency to see the world around them as benevolent, clashing with such a horrifically cynical and vicious and violent. It's actually, before anything else, it's kind of very moving because you feel that this is something that probably occurred, you know, over and over again in different historical contexts. But the fact that you feel this is something that's happening right now as well, that this isn't some sort of myth, but this is something happening right now you know, on the border of two pretty sophisticated countries. I mean, it, it kind of makes you angry as well. Nobel Prize winning novelist Kazuo Ishiguro on Prayers for the Stolen by Jennifer Clement. How about you? Is there a book that left a mark on you recently? Tell us why at ttbook.org slash bookmarks. And if you're not sure what to read next, we've got you covered. Download the complete season one and two of Bookmarks and keep your local librarian happy.